Hi everybody, welcome back to the shed. Um, what I thought I'd do today, I'll give it a try, is uh, one of these clocks. So this is an LP, LP record. I'll uh, put a bit of tape around the hole. I've spray painted this one and I've ordered the clock parts and uh, the spindle part is I think it was 8 mil or something. So I just drilled that a little bit bigger. So that should be fine. Uh, so let's go, it's just a more or less an experiment for me. So I've knocked up a couple of color, colors. So let me just put some clear on this one first. Keep a little bit. In case I need it. It's a boiling hot day here. This is uh it's 90 degrees in the in the shed here with all the windows and doors open. So it makes a makes a big difference from the from the winter when everything was freezing. This is very flimsy. pigments I'm using is uh, just a normal resin for art pigments I bought a load of these when I started so I've still got stacks left and they're, they're nice they, I think they're really nice bright colors the spray paint I've used is just uh, forget what it's called now but it's um, you know the very bright colors all right, let's get a bit of paper to wipe, wipe the hand off. Oh yeah, can you see that? Paint factory, neon colors. That's an acrylic flat paint. not gloss. Right, that looks about covered. So I'm just going to heat this up. Get rid of the bubbles. Doesn't really need heating. There we go. Yeah, what I'll do once this is sort of starting to dry enough, I'll, I'll take the tape off and take that middle one off and put a paintbrush in it or something. Okay, let's see what that. What I thought I'd do, I'll get some nice blue. I think I'll put some alcohol on it. This is about how much I used one of these spray things. Maybe two. One or two. I've mixed a lot of this up, mind. So I thought I'd give it two. Okay, that's a lot. And this is this uh, gold mirror on. I don't know if I put 
I'll go on with this before. I'll just put a squirt in it. I might have, I might not have. Add some white. I'll put some in there as well. Right, let's see how that goes. I'm just going to warm it up a little. I'm just going to play around with it a little bit, see what happens. That hole's making it drag a bit. Can you hear my neighbour's dogs? <laughs> I can't complain too much as my daughter's house. Oh, they do drive you crazy. I'm just doing it that way now. Well, I might have to blow it a bit, but I didn't really want to do that. Yeah. That might be a nice effect actually, you get the, a lot of the gold on the outside. Yeah, that does look nice. I'll leave that to settle for a bit. I don't think I need to do much more to it really. As it's a clock. A 
lost more of that colour than I wanted to though. The background colour. But I like that that bit. Um I don't know whether to add more or not. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'll bring you down to have a look, see what you think. Nice quick video. Let's get these gloves off a minute. I bought three boxes of those, they're too small. The last ones I had were. Hang on, I'll try and get this out as it is. Yep. I think it's around that way. Okay, let's have a look. That will lace up nice in a minute, a, bit, a little bit better than that, I hope. Uh, now I've still got some of the colours coming through. I haven't got the uh, flash on, so hope this comes out okay. That gold, that mirror on me is really nice. It does take over though if you put, you know. But I wanted to more or less cover this with that. I leave the colours on the end. Inside showing like that the blue So that was the idea which was not too bad Okay, so there you go Thanks for watching That's my first clock <laughs> See you next time if you like it give it the thumbs up um you know and if you haven't already please do subscribe look at that that's nice okay see you next time